welcome back to life is aisha today we're doing a back to school sneaker haul video i know that i'm late getting this video out this really should have been out like the first week of august but at least i'm getting it out before september <laughs> so um i'm a little late than i was last year but it's gonna be okay <laughs> So today I'm going to be doing um, a sneaker haul of just the shoes that I've gotten recently within like the past month. Also, this is going to serve as a sneaker video for different shoes that I purchased that are all under $100. So this is going to be like a budget-friendly haul. No shoes in this video I purchased are over $100. And I will be including other items besides shoes, just other items I feel as though are imperative for the sneaker-minded teen or um young adult just going to school or high school or college um and as i have my different world t on today can't really see it just have my placement of my camera as i was trying to get it to pan down more but it just didn't want to work for me today so yeah i love um a different world that's the reason why well one of the reasons why i went to historically black college and university was because of shows like a different world and the cosby show but um just getting right into this video the first pair of shoes i'm going to show you is just a little sneaker steal that i got like probably a month ago and i showed these on my instagram page these are just some nike free shoes here and i purchased these from my local nike clearance store i actually still have a receipt in the bag right here for not the bag receipt in the box but yeah these retailed for 80 dollars that's how they look and yes, I did get them in a 7U just because I'm going to be using them for workout purposes. Normally, I stay between a 6 and a 6 half, but just because I wanted a shoe with a lot of give to it, I did go up a half size in them. These are the Nike Free Run shoes, and that's just how they look. They're, they're black and white with a silver swoosh here. It just has Nike Free right there. And what I like about it is that they are flexible, so they're very bendable friendly and running friendly especially if i'm gonna be like doing like cardio exercises and stuff like that with them i will be able to like bend my foot but as i was saying they retail for 80 they were on sale for 31.97 i did purchase these during the tax-free weekend so that took off and they had an extra 20 percent off so that took off like 640 which made them 25.57 without tax which is the price i paid for them so yeah that was just a good little steal I always recommend for people that are trying to find shoes for their their children or just other students going back to school it's always check out the Nike clearance store or here if you can get into the Nike factory like if you know an employee definitely use that option because you can save at least 40 to 50 percent off every shoe and if you go during tax-free weekend then you're saving an additional whatever the tax may be on that item so this is just a tip for when you're going back to school shopping. By now, most of you all may have gone back to school shopping. Or if you're like me, when I was in school, I did back to school shopping year round. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely something to keep in mind. The next shoes I got, they were on my Instagram page. And they, they went viral in a sense for my Instagram page. Because, I mean, I get like between 100, 300 likes per picture. Maybe 400, 500 on a good day holiday birthday but these shoes got like close to i think i haven't even checked in a while but these this picture of these shoes and i inserted here it got like over i think close to 800 likes and these are the disruptor 2 premium repeat felines so these are the Fila disruptor twos and i've been eyeing these shoes for like a long time i just hadn't found that color that i wanted i saw that the i feel like the most popular color that everyone get are like the all white and navy and white ones i mean navy and red ones but i didn't want to be like the norm i want to see you know step outside the box a little bit and everybody i ran this shoe across was just kind of like no don't get those like especially my brother he was just adamant and i go to him a lot for sneaker like you know advice because he's like into shoes but yeah he was just like no no but i was like you know gonna have to trust myself here but this is how they look and this will probably be my thumbnail so take my little thumbnail picture <laughs> but yeah these will probably be my thumbnail picture just because this shoe was just like very wave worthy on my instagram page and if you don't follow me follow me at this name here but um i haven't worn them yet they still have the little tag on them these retail for they don't have it on the box but i think i guess they do 65 dollars if you 
you can see that yeah 65 us dollars so i do think this was like a I'm not mistaken. I don't want to give the wrong information. I think this is like released in the UK. Like a lot of Fila products are. They're released like in the UK first. And then it became like available in the US. I got mine off 602.com. Which is kind of like an affiliate company of I believe Finish Line. I actually went to the 602 store when I was in Orlando for my birthday. So it's just a dope store overall. It's just for women. I'm pretty sure it's women only. So it's kind of cool to go to a store that kind of caters toward that caters toward women but this is how it looks it's like a pale pink shoe um it has fila like repeating that's why you have the name repeat disruptor all around the shoe to this side um it's all pink all over the laces are everything is pink the bottom so and this is like one of my favorite colors if you can see my room right now this is pretty much the exact same color as my wall in my room so yeah i was very excited to purchase these and also um when i got them i just got like a whole lot of feedback and you always want when you get a pair of shoes for everybody to be like kind of rave kind of hype you up a little bit so you always feel kind of good about your purchase just to show the inside of the box it has the fila tissue paper i'm going to show you our shoes some shoes that i just literally got on monday but i purchased them a while well not a while ago i purchased them last week and these are the Vans Yacht Club shoes. And I wanted these shoes since they released. And I think they released back in, was it March or April? But they were so hyped up then. And I was late on my trigger. Like, <laughs> I was late on it. So I wasn't able to cop for in my size. What I did, though, do was I purchased, I think it was an eight and a half or like a nine in men. And I ended up reselling them. And I got a good resale, you know, value off of them. I sold them on my eBay. Um, I may insert that somewhere so you can go to my eBay store. I may not. It just depends. <laughs> but, um, and also I do have them on my Poshmark website. But we'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, anyway, this is how they look. They're like, they're called the Yacht Club shoes because like the laces here. Let me pull them out. They're like how boat shoes are. The laces that come in boat shoes. So they are called the Yacht Club because of that. They come up for an extra set of laces, which are just the regular white laces that come in all vans for the most part. They're kind of, I like them because they're like primary colors. So you got, you have your royal blue, your green, your red, your yellow, and your white. So it really reminds me of like the Crayola box or like crayons because I used to be really big into art and coloring. So it's just kind of like a nostalgia purchase for me even though this is like a new release it's not a retro shoe like a retro colorway but it does give me like a school feel to it so I thought these were perfect for like a back to school haul video I sold the other pair of shoes and then I sold another size 5 and I happened to come, come across another size 5 so I said is third time going to be the charm like am I going to be able to sell resell this shoe three times so this is like my third extra pair of purchasing of these and these are a size five in men. Um, same shoe, every same concept, everything is the same. I'm not gonna take these out, but that's how they look. And these are for sale on my Poshmark. So if you have a student or a child, like shameless plug here, <laughs> but if you have a student or a child, anybody that is wanting this shoe or anything, I am selling them for more than they retail for 60. I am selling them for over retail just because they're a pretty limited shoe, but I'm not gonna like go crazy with it so if you have someone that wants to shoe or you know somebody or if you want to shoe yourself hit me up in my dm or comment down below and we can work something out because i do have that last pair for sale and after i sell that one i'm pretty much i'm pretty much done with it like i've i made a good amount of reselling them and i'm not even really big into reselling like if you you ask anybody like i hate reselling like a lot of shoes a lot of people ask me like are you gonna sell those i'm like no because i typically only buy shoes that i plan to wear or shoes that i just plan i just plan to put in my collection so you can check in my poshmark and all the other items that i'm selling because i'm trying to minimize my life in a sense just a tad bit trying to stop being so much of a hoarder so i am getting rid of a lot of clothing shoe items so if you're probably like my size or just clothes that don't fit me anymore, definitely check it out. And yeah, we can work something out. Um, if you feel like the price is not to your liking, DM me or send me an offer, counter offer or something. And we can try to make uh, make something work. 
to start a little of my business <laughs> savvy in this video okay on to the next shoe okay, yeah and this is like my last shoe of the video can you believe like this is only i had one pair of nikes feline vans so this is like i said it's a real short haul um but i do have this pair of disruptor sandals here and before i get into the shoe fun story I saw this shoe back when I got those other pink felines and I was just like, I put them on my store on Instagram. Like I think it's underneath my highlights. I put those up. I was like, had the little hmm, emoji on there and I ended up buying the pink ones. And then I put these exact same sandals on there and I was like, definitely my next purchase. And yeah, I was like, definitely my next purchase. And they were available on the same website, like 602 French line, Urban Outfitters. Um, like a whole lot of other websites that were available. And then when I was kind of like, I saw a pair of these same sandals in another color on another website. And I was like, I wonder why they don't have the color that I wanted, you know, on the website. So I just happened to go back to, because I saved it like as a bookmark on my phone screen. I went back to and I was like, are you kidding me? This shoe has sold out. I went to ASOS. I went to Urban Outfitters. I went to a 602 Finish Line, Foot Locker, East Bay. Like every shoe website I could think of that I normally cop off of. And I was just like, oh wow. <laughs> so I was like pretty bummed at the moment or whatever at that point. And then I did a couple other looking around on UK websites because I do frequent sneakers and stuff. I frequent like Titolo shop. I frequent um, in clothing. Like those are some UK websites that I kind of mess with heavily. So I looked on there. They had them on like all three of those. I think the cheapest one that I saw it on, I, I ended up finding them on Urban Outfitters UK. And I was telling this guy this that um, like we talk shoes and stuff with like we're just cool like that. And I was just like, I want them. I was like, they're price because I think these retail for like I think they're 60 or 65 also um, retail price. But I was, but on there they were like 105 UK dollars or whatever it, whatever it is equivalent to the US. So the US is actually higher. And then to get some shit from the UK to the US, it's like close to 20 some dollars shipping. I was just like, I'm a frugalista <laughs> at times. So I'm like, I'm not paying that for some fila slides or fila sandals that I know I'm not going to wear that much. So I was just kind of like, whatever. Then next thing I know, I get an email confirmation, like screenshot sent to me from him. And he was just like, they shipped that already on your way to you. <laughs> So it was just crazy because I'm like, I didn't ask you to get these shoes. I didn't ask any of that. And I threw it out there, let God handle it. <laughs> and the universe brought it back to me. So shout out to him for these shoes. I appreciate them so much. But that's how they look on the inside. I know y'all like, she knows she can talk. I definitely can talk. But they're a bit clunky, I will admit. And when I tried them on, I was like, iffy about them but i think i can rock them i really feel like i can pull off some anything so this is how they look and i haven't even posted these on my social media so y'all getting a first look at these <laughs> a first peek so to so to so to speak but um this is how they look they just have like the fila logo all over them and my brother calls these like mom shoes you know like they have like the dad shoes he was like you got mom shoes but whatever he's not going to stop me from liking these shoes because i really like them yeah these are budget friendly like i said they're under a hundred dollars these didn't cost under a hundred just because they were shipped from london to the united states um they're not for everybody they definitely do not fit everybody's taste i know a lot of people are more so going to say they don't like them but i've always been different i've always wanted to get stuff that not the normal everyday person would wear so that's what I did. It says Urban Outfitter $65, um, UK dollars or whatever, however you say it. But on the website, I think they were on there for like 85 Yeah, they were on there for $85 UK dollars plus tax to end up being $105 UK dollars. So whatever that is equivalent to in the US dollars, that's how much they cost. Did end up going to Burlington um, some weeks ago. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw me at Burlington. I didn't grab anything that I went in there for, but knowing me, I just couldn't leave empty handed. So I got these and these were such a steal. They were $10.999 exactly. And Fila again, right? So this is three Fila shoes just in one video. That's just crazy to me because I, this Fila, I like the brand, but I don't just 
get so much stuff from Fila. But that's how they look. They're just pink. They're like this hot pink color and black. Um, I haven't worn these yet. It's still completely brand new. Just because I want to give me like a Fila tee or just something to go with them. But they were $9.99. Um, if you're in the area, I got them from the Burlington, the new location in South Haven. Um, they do have other Burlington stores like in Memphis and stuff. I just haven't frequented them. So, yeah. Um, also from Burlington, give throw a quick little Burlington haul in there. I picked up this Reebok t-shirt here. Um, just something for working out in. But um, since it's a school haul, something to wear to school or on campus. Um, and then it has Reebok on the back right there. So, yeah, it's just like kind of like an athletic short sleeve t-shirt. And this t-shirt, um, it was $12.99. So it was actually more than my slides were. But yeah, like I said before, this is going to be more than sneakers. So um, I purchased this fanny pack from East Bay. And it's a Nike fanny pack. I'll probably be wearing it this weekend. I thought it was super cool. And fanny packs are so in for, I feel like, all age groups. But especially um, like teens and people going to school. So this would be something cool to get for yourself or for your child. This is a Nike fanny pack. It has a Nike swoosh on the front. And it has this Nike, right, the Nike um, logo right here on the top. Um, when I bought it, I actually thought this is how it looks and this is how it would go. But I realized that it does have more room in it and this kind of like pops up. So, and this is the top of it. But I still like it. It doesn't have the price on it, but I spent like 20 something dollars on it. It wasn't that cheap um, as I thought it should be, but I mean, it's Nike, so I guess I can, I can get, you know, while I was a little higher, it was like 20 some dollars, I think, for it. If you're a parent watching this video, like, just throwing some tips and hints out there, like, if you're buying children's shoes, multiple kids' shoes, like, definitely get a bang for your buck and check out these websites that have these 50 and 70 percent off um deals also um my ebates link and information is in my description box um you can sign up for that you'll get some money i get some money so it's a win-win situation for both of us um every chance i get i try to go on ebates i mentioned this in my bougie on a budget video but i try to go on ebates and purchase if i can remember a lot of times i do forget which i hate when i forget but if i'm online shopping i try to see if their website is on ebates so i can get an extra percentage off of the item sometimes they have coupon codes on ebates and also i get cash back so i think it's like a every three to every two or three months they send you out a check which i had i got a check last week from ebates this off of what i spent online just the cash back i got off my items so if you're an avid online shopper like me then definitely get into ebates it'll save you a lot of money and you'll not even be realizing that you have like a cash back balance like when i purchase something i finish line I guess I didn't have my account connected to it next thing I know I got an extra thirty dollars just out of nowhere because it didn't even calculate into my ebates account when i made that purchase or whatever so yeah definitely check out ebay shoes my code so we can both win i'll be back next month some either september or october with another like sneaker related video um i haven't purchased a whole lot of shoes like so if i don't purchase shoes or different things like that I can't really get, I can't, I mean, I can't really bring you all a video. I know I was doing a monthly sneaker talk series on my channel. Um, I kind of got away from doing it just in a sense because just the way the year is ending, there's not a whole lot of shoes that I anticipate buying. But if you did like that sneaker series or if you were even interested in it in the least, my little sneaker talk series, um, if you want me to bring it all the way back, I will. Just let me know down below. But as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.